Hey everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're gonna go ahead and retouch this image of Sierra. I already have a retouching action that includes frequency separation and dodge and burn. If you want me to show you how to create this action, go ahead and comment below and let me know, and I will create that video for you. First, we're gonna go ahead and hide the texture layer in our frequency separation group and grab the healing brush tool to start blending in all of the colors. Now, this layer in frequency separation basically is just a color. As you can see, there's really no texture going on. Um, and what this is going to help us do is make sure that everything is nice and smooth and blended together um, and the colors have like a seamless blend. Now, if you're just starting out with retouching, um, this process is definitely a tedious one. I actually love it. Um, it's almost like painting, but on the computer. But definitely give yourself some patience. Definitely um, give yourself some time. And uh, definitely be prepared to hit Control z um, if your colors get blended incorrectly. Sometimes we can just get really carried away. Once you're satisfied with how the colors are blended together, you do a little before and after by hiding the frequency separation layer, showing it again to sort of do like a quick before and after just to see if everything looks the way I want it to look. Then we're gonna go ahead and zoom in for the texture layer. We're gonna grab the clone stamp tool and get rid of some fine lines. Um, Sierra already has amazing, amazing skin. Depending on how far you wanna go with getting rid of texture in the skin, I highly recommend using a really small clone stamp size. Um, this will help you get each individual line, which will then um, give you a really nice, smooth finish, a nice professional finish to your image. Once we're done with the texture layer and getting rid of um, any fine lines or texture that you don't want in your image, we're gonna go ahead and move to the dodge and burn layer. Um, and the dodge and burn layer for me is, is one of my favorites because it's really after we've done the hard part of frequency separation. Dodge and burn just really helps to amplify that smoothing, amplify blending the colors to really give us a nice, smooth, professional retouching uh, finished image. When using the dodge and burn layer, um, you want to make sure that your paintbrush is on white. And depending on how you create your dodge and burn layers, um, you're going to have a different opacity and different flow. As you can see, my opacity uh, and flow are pretty low. Um, what this helps to do is to create very subtle changes in the grayscale. And then once we bring the image back to color, you're going to see how, um, how it it all ties together. Okay, so once we're done with dodge and burn, I like to go ahead and hide and unhide the whole retouching folder just to really see exactly all the really small things that we've done to make this image look as professionally retouched as possible. Next, this is typically my last step. Uh, we'll just call it step three in my retouching process is color grading. So especially with models with caramel skin, with deep skin, um, I love to color grade. I think that it just adds the extra oomph to the skin. It really um, brightens up any areas that might photograph gray. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the curves layer and play with what the uh, green tones are and the red tones are. I'd say use your better judgment on what the color of the curves layer is going to be. I like to match the color of the curves layer to sort of the most saturated parts of the face that's not makeup, if that makes any sense. And then we're gonna go ahead and inverse it like we would with Dodge and Burn. Um, go ahead and grab that white paintbrush tool and then start painting away in the areas that appear gray. Now we're going to do a before and after of the curves layer. And what I love about this is it makes such a subtle difference that really rounds out all the retouching that we've done uh, in a really simple way. With all of the steps that we've done, um, you can see that the image is so beautifully retouched. The skin is so smooth. It looks really natural. 
and all of the subtle small steps that we did um, create one beautiful image. So now I'm just going to show you how I color graded this image and then we're going to go ahead and um, finish this out. Thank you so much for watching and comment below if you want to see more videos from me.